everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com and today is a very controversial subject. I've been warning you about it for days and I'll start by saying this. Would it surprise you to know that 95% or more of all the top earners in network marketing quit a business before they became successful in network marketing? Would it surprise you to realize that a million dollar, these million dollar earners failed at another network marketing venture prior to having success in their current venture? The reality is that's true. And the title of today's show, or the theme of today's show, is when is it right to quit your network marketing company? Now you didn't hear me say when is it right to quit the network marketing profession because I believe the answer to that is never quit the network marketing profession. But there are times when it's appropriate for a person, an individual, to walk away from one situation and find a different situation. And some people are going to hate that I'm talking about this, but I got to be honest with you. I got to shoot you straight. And any, a lot of people will, if anybody says, oh, that's, you know, he shouldn't be talking about that, ask them. And if they're successful, ask them if this is their first opportunity or if they're having success and they tried something else prior. Here's a couple um, scenarios when it's right to quit. If the company that you're with, if you do not believe in their product or their service, you need to walk away. If you don't believe in it, you need to leave. You need to find something that you can believe in, that you can believe strongly in. So if you don't believe in it, that's one reason why a person should quit a particular company and find a company that they can believe in. Not every product's for every person, but that's one reason. The second reason is if the company is acting in a way that is unethical, immoral, illegal, if they're stretching the truth, if they're doing things that take you out of integrity in order to be able to go along with it, then you need to walk away you need to quit. You need to go someplace else. Third group, or third reason, is there's a lot of money games out there in the marketplace. And what's a money game? Situations where companies are set up just to try and take advantage of a short-term window. Everybody kind of knows it's going to be here today, it's going to be gone tomorrow, but they're going to try and see if they can get some money in the meantime. If you were told that it was legitimate and you come in and you kind of realize that it's not, and in any any profession there's going to be the good ones and the illegitimate ones, the legitimate ones and the illegitimate. Uh, if you find yourself in one of those situations, you need to make the decision to walk away. If you realize that you're in a uh, situation where the company has no future and you can't truly look people in the eye. Um, if you're being, a fourth reason, is if you're being treated badly if you're being treated poorly by your company or by your upline and you don't feel like you have a big enough hammer, if you don't have enough power inside of your company to be able to fight that negativity, then it's time for you to find some place where you're going to be celebrated instead of being oppressed, instead of being uh, not allowed to be who you are and do what you need to do. So that's a fourth reason. Um, and a fifth one, and this will be the most controversial by far, is if you just hit a wall, you've done the right things, you've, you've kind of panned out. Um, I will tell you, my first opportunity was with a company called NSA. I worked with them for five years. And I, it, they panned out, I panned out, I lost belief in the product. They didn't switch to a consumable product. They've since switched to a company called Juice Plus, and they've had great success. But back then, they were a single product, water filtration, air filtration, and <clears throat> the company wasn't listening. I'd lost faith. I've gone through everything. I've done everything I could do, and I, I just ran into a brick wall. And I needed to find something that I could believe in. And I ended up finding that and moving on and having great success uh, with that. Um, I know Randy Gage started off early on in, in, in Amway, and Amway's a fine company, and I know we have a lot of people who watch Amway, but he ran into a brick wall personally in Amway and decided he needed to move on to other things. 
there have been you know people who found themselves in companies that went out of business. There have been people who found themselves in companies that had bad integrity. There have been people who found themselves, and because of that, they hit a wall. And they need to have a fresh story. They need to have a fresh start. They need to have a new beginning. Now, I want to temper what I just said with the other side of the story is for most people, if others are succeeding in your company, you can do it too. If others are doing well in your company, you can do it too. I don't want you to feel like if, if you've worked hard and haven't had the success that you've had, if you've really felt like you've done everything you could do and you've hit a wall, then maybe it's time to make a change. If you haven't done everything you could do and you believe in the product, you believe in the company, they're a, a company of integrity and you're being treated well within that organization, then you have an obligation to yourself to hang in there because you're one recruit away from an explosion in growth. You're one breakthrough away and there's story after story after story of people said, you know what, I really wasn't doing everything I could do. I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to make that happen now. And when I make that happen, then the whole world will open up for you. You create a fresh story and off you go. So again, this is an interesting topic because some people say, you know what, I'm with this company. I'm never going to quit this company and, 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 unless I'm dead on the side of the road. That's just it. I'm never, ever, ever, ever. And here's what I want you to change that to. I want you to say, I'm never going to quit this profession as long as I live. I'm going to stay with the profession, but the company I'm, I'm going to make sure is, is going well. Am I running out of time or something? Battery? I'm doing okay? Okay, good. Uh, the other thing that I will tell you is this. My first company, the, the CEO of that company is a guy by the name of Jay Martin, and it was a, com a company called NSA. And if you saw the video of the 24-year-old me um, doing my testimonial, that same 24-year-old guy went to a home office in Memphis, Tennessee, and I happened to walk past Jay Martin, the CEO's office, and I said, excuse me, Mr. Martin, can I speak to you for a second? And, and uh, he said, sure, come on in. And I said, listen, I just want you to know I'm a loyal guy. And a lot of people aren't loyal, and you've given me a chance to recreate my life and rebuild my life, and I'm going to be loyal to you for forever. And he said, Eric, he said, listen, son, loyalty is a two-way street. I'll be, you be loyal to me, great, just so long as you feel like I'm being loyal to you. And that's really true inside of opportunities, inside of situations, inside of products, inside of companies. Loyalty is a two-way street. Don't go down with the ship if you've got a company that's out of integrity or out of legality and going out of business and you're going to go down with the ship. Find a home where you can be celebrated, where you can create a future. If you look at all the top earners, most of them tried something they figured something out, but then they found a home, a home where they could build long term, a home where they could build a great future, a home where they could plant their flag and ride it into the sunset. That's what we all want. In my per personal situation, I have just about everything that's happened. Here's what happened to me. My first five years in network marketing was with a company called NSA. They hit a wall. I hit a wall. They didn't go to consumable products, and I made a move. The second company I was with was a company called Quorum International, and I had wild, amazing, incredible success with that company, but then I was actually asked to be president of global operations for that company, and myself and the CEO found out after a short period of time that the company was out of integrity, that they had no, they were doing illegal things, and they, they had, there was no future for any of the distributors. So we either said it either changes today or we quit today. And they didn't change, so we quit, and we walked away, and we started our own company. I started my own, and that was the third different kind of situation. It was a company called TPN, one that's very near and dear to my heart, based on personal development, but I'll tell you what happened there. We ran out of money, and we did what you know was successful, but we ended up selling that company to a company called Prepaid Legal Services, Then I ended up consulting with Prepaid Legal Services. And that was it until I found where I am today. And I, my hope is to ride it into the sunset. But if something else happens, you know what? I have my skills. I have, I, I know this as a profession. My income and my future is certain because I've developed a career and I've developed career skills where, you know, hopefully I'll be able to ride it for the next 50 years and that's going to be everything that I ever do. But if something happened, lightning struck, I'm going to be okay.
because I'll be able to find a home inside of our great profession and build something. So, wildly different topic today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you understand it, but uh, put what you get you got out of this message. I don't want this to be an excuse for you to quit before you've done what you need to do inside of this profession. Stay strong, do what you need to do, but then if things pan out, find a home, find some place where you can really be celebrated and you love the products and you love the company, you love the people. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it's a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world and give me that camera. I'm going to show you my friends. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Clara. Clara. Hi, Michael Eyes Renner. And these guys are from, from Columbia and say hey Taylor. Hey, hey, hey. That's my son Taylor. Everybody, long show, but you got a nice weekend. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.